Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create an Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. My name is Eduardo Castro, Microsoft MVP on data. And today we will focus on how to create an Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. First, you need to have one resource group inside your subscription in Azure. Then the first step that you need, must do is to go here and click create. In this place, you will find a lot of products that, that are av available. In our case, we want to create an Azure Synapse Analytics. Then we will do a search for that. Azure Synapse Analytics. Here we have it. We select this one. Here we will follow an wizard that we guide us through all the process of the WordPress creation. Then you click here, create. Here you will have several options that you must set. First, you choose the subscriptions where your Synapse workspace will be stored. Then the resource group, the workspace name. I will assign a workspace, Synapse demo 2023. If you get this error, it's because this name is already taken, then you can choose a new one. Uh, I would say 2023-01. Then you have it. You must choose your Azure region. Then after you choose this, your region, you can choose from several regions. You can choose the, the one that is closest to you. I will choose Central US. By default, Azure Synapse Analytics needs, needs a data lake storage. If you already have one, you can choose one. Or if you want, you can create a new one. Here, I will create a new one and this Azure Data Lake Storage will be associated with the Azure Synapse workspace, and it will be the default Data Lake workspace for the Synapse Analytics workspace. Then you choose Create New. I like to use always the same, the same name, 01. This will be the name of the storage account. And inside that storage account, you need to create a file system. This file system can be the same name of the uh, uh, Azure account, or you can call it just data leak. This is a, just a name inside this storage account. I will choose data lake. Then you choose next security. In this way, <coughs> When you configure Azure Synapse Analytics, you have two different options to do the authentication. The first one here is says that you can use local users created inside the SQL pool or Azure AT directory integrated users. In this, in this demo, I will configure both. But if you want, depending on your privacy and security policies, you can choose only to use Azure ATEP directory authentication. But in this case, I will create a new one and use mix authentication. You must assign a password. Oh, you must be sure that the password match. Let me try it again. OK, it's OK. Then we choose here the networking. 
If you are going to configure private networking, well, you will do it using Manage Virtual Network. In this case, I am not using Manage Virtual Network. I am using a regular configuration with an open connection. In this way, I will be able to connect to this Synapse Analytics. But if you want to restrict how you connect to the Azure Synapse Analytics and the SQL pools, you can use a managed virtual network connected to your on-premises or to other services inside uh, Azure. Or you can uncheck this one and add only your own IP addresses. For this demo, I am allowing all addresses to connect to this Synapse Analytics. Then you have the tags. You have here the option to configure, for example, the environment. I can see DEP. And after that, you will see this screen. This screen shows you the summary of the Azure workspace that is going to be configured, the Synapse workspace. If you are okay with all the configuration, you just cl click create. After a few minutes, you will have your new Synapse Analytics workspace.